hey this is Sridhar today I will explain you about how to execute dynamically created select statement using execute immediate select is also a DML statement here also I will explain how to execute this select statement without using bind argument and the next one using bind argument here I am going to list the contents present in present for the employee whose employee ID is 199 let me execute let me check whether employee ID 199 exists or not exist and I am initializing the variables my variables are I am going to list the list the contents present whose employee ID is 199 so first I am going to initialize the table that is employees and employee ID EMP ID that is 199 and I am going to retrieve all the records out of that I am going to display only a selected field values so th for that I am using EMP rec as employees table name percentage row type so using that I can display any column values of this employees table for the corresponding record and I am for to create a dynamically select statement I am using the SQL statement as varchar2 of 100 I am initializing the SQL statement Sel SQL statement equals select star from closing the single course and concatenating my table name and I am going to select the value whose employee ID where employee ID equals so again open single quotes where employee ID equals closing the single quotes concatenating the EMP ID EMP ID is initialized as 199 so my dynamic SQL statement is ready so I am printing the dynamic SQL statement and I am going to execute the SQL statement using execute immediate SQL statement previously we stopped here itself execute immediate followed by SQL statement if you are using without bind argument but here I am using into EMP rec normally you will be using the select statement as select first name into F name from the employees table you will be writing this kind of SQL statement in PL SQL because you are going to retrieve the first name and the retrieved first name should be stored into some variable so you will be writing like select first name into F name F name is the variable so this kind of statement you will be writing same like that here also execute immediate SQL statement into you are retrieving the value what are the values you are retrieving star star means all the values so I am putting into if you are retrieving all the values then here you have to put the row type data type my row type data type is EMP rec so I am putting EMP rec means employee record and I am retrieving all the field values out of that I am going to print only the first name last name and salary so EMP rec dot first name EMP rec dot last name and EMP rec dot salary I am going to print let me execute it's completed my dynamically created, created select statement is select star from employees where employee ID is 199 it's correct and my output is first name last name and the updated salary previously I updated but I after that I rolled back so my original salary for Douglas is 2701 let me check 199 salary is 2701 so the same select statement you can use using using bind argument also let me execute these are the initialization part begin my SQL statement is select star from closing the single quotes and concatenating the table name opening the single quotes where employee ID equals colon 1 colon 1 is a bind argument so this bind argument should be replaced by the corresponding placeholder value in the using class I'm printing the SQL statement execute immediate the SQL statement and the executed SQL statement will be retaining star values means all the values 
So this executed immediate SQL statement, all the values will be stored into the EMP rec. EMP rec is a row type data type of employees table. So all the values will be stored in EMP rec. And I am using the bind argument, so I have to use using class using EMP ID. EMP ID is 199. So this value will be substituted in the bind argument. Employee ID equals 199. And I am printing the value. EMP rec dot EMP rec will be having all the values. So out of that, I am going to print only the first name, last name, and salary. Let me execute. It's completed. I am getting the same value, but here I am using the bind argument. That is the only difference. In this way, you can use a select class. Similarly, you can use you can also use bulk collect also in the select class. You can try using that bulk collect in the select class also thanks for watching next we will see how to execute pl sql block dynamically using this execute immediate in the next session thanks for watching